Hello everyone, this is the second lesson of uh, revision guide. The second lesson is about photosynthesis. Before we start, you should be able to give a definition, a simple definition for photosynthesis. In general, photosynthesis, it means the process by which plant, by which plants make their own food. Now, a definition for photosynthesis or definition with more details about detailed about uh, photosynthesis you will say photosynthesis is the process by which plants make food and oxygen from water and carbon dioxide using energy in light that has been trapped in chlorophyll it's the same if you want you can give this definition or the definition that I mentioned before process of photosynthesis it happened through or it goes through many stages these stages are firstly the process of photosynthesis you should know where it takes place we say we mentioned before it takes place in leaf of the plant but where exactly in the leaf the process of photosynthesis takes place in the leaf using energy in sunlight maybe you will ha you will have a question it says in which part of the leaf the process of photosynthesis it takes place the answer will be in the chloroplast chloroplast it's the organelle or it's the part of cell that has a green pigment which is chlorophyll that trap or that capture sunlight for the process of photosynthesis now this process or photosynthesis to take place it needs some materials these materials are firstly it needs water so from where plant will get water plant will get water through uh, roots or from by from soil by roots so roots it will absorb water from soil and transport it to the leaf or leaves then another requirement it's what it's carbon dioxide plant to go through photosynthesis it needs carbon dioxide carbon dioxide will be uh, uh, will be taken from the atmosphere then this carbon dioxide it enters the leaf through the tiny openings or through stomata then water carbon dioxide together they will be mixed together they will react with each other by the help of sunlight then after the process of photosynthesis will happen now it will produce some materials these materials are number one we said plants will make food by the photosynthesis this food it's what it's carbohydrate carbohydrate or an example of carbohydrate it's glucose glucose sugar then one more thing oxygen oxygen will be produced by photosynthesis and will be released to the atmosphere when plant will make glucose or carbohydrate plant cells will use some of the produced carbohydrate or the sugar not all of it so the extra carbohydrates or the extra glucose will be stored in plant cells but when it will be stored in plant cells it will be stored in another form not as a glucose uh, form it will be stored as starch so starch if you want to give a definition for starch we will say starch it's a large a molecule of glucose or it's 
hundreds of glucose molecules linked together. Okay. Then the start test. The start test. It's like how we will know. Now we say the plant will uh, store the extra glucose as a starch, but how we can know there is a starch in the plant? Okay. The test to start for starch, uh, we have some steps. These steps are firstly, we will bring a leaf that uh, a green leaf. This leaf is dipped in boiling water. So firstly, you will put it in boiling water, so it will uh, be soft. Then, uh, the leaf is boiled in ethanol. Ethanol, it's what? It's a kind of alcohol. So, what is the benefit of using ethanol here? The, the ethanol will remove the chlorophyll. Then, iodine solution. Iodine solution, it's a chemical... Uh, solution okay or they call it indicator it's a kind of indicator is poured over the leaf then if a black color will present if you, if you will get black color that's mean this uh, leaf it has uh, starch in it okay if the color of the leaf will turn to brown that's mean there is no starch so these are these are the steps to uh, test if there is a starch in a leaf or no then a distarched plant what do you mean by a distarched plant we mean by the by this a plant it has a uh, starch stored in it then when a plant will use all the stored starch in it now this plant we call it the starch plant or in another meaning you will say a plant without starch now photosynthesis investigation how we can know uh, the process of photosynthesis it takes place or it's taking place or not we can investigate the process of photosynthesis in different ways for example first way it's carbon dioxide carbon dioxide and starch production look at these two plants these two plants as you can see they are covered with a plastic bag or plastic sack okay so to prevent uh, air from entering it so what will happen two plants but here in one of them we will put uh, soda lime and in the second one we will use sodium uh, hydrogen carbonate why we use these two uh, solutions or these two substances because here in soda lime soda lime it will what it will absorb all the carbon dioxide here okay but here what will happen the sodium uh, hydrogen carbonate it will release carbon dioxide so how this it will affect so firstly sodium lime absorb carbon dioxide from the air so this starched plant does not make starch now this plant if there will be no carbon dioxide here that's mean this plant it cannot make uh, it cannot go through photosynthesis if this plant cannot go go through photosynthesis then the the plant will not have food for the it will not produce food for uh, the cells and then what will happen to the cells the cells it will die then and the second one side uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate it release carbon dioxide so when it will release carbon dioxide that's mean 
Now this plant is able to go through photosynthesis. When the plant is able to go through photosynthesis, now of course it will make uh, glucose, will make the food, and the cells will start uh, growing, making new cells, and the plant will keep uh, growing. This is the first way how to investigate uh, photosynthesis. The second way, which is by light. Light and starch production. Now, if you look at this plant, these two leaves are covered. The first one is covered with aluminum foil. The second one is covered with plastic covering. The diff now, you will ask, what is the difference between these two materials that they used here? As we know, aluminum foil, it will not let light pass through it. But here, it's plastic, it's transparent, so the light it can pass through it. Now, a photosynthesis, to happen to take place, it needs carbon dioxide and water plus light. Now, this leaves, or this plant now, it have water, it have, and also it have the uh, carbon dioxide, but this leaf, it's covered with aluminum foil, so the light, it cannot reach it. Here, the light will reach it, but now what will happen if the light, it will not reach it? This leaf will not be able to go through photosynthesis. At the end, if we will test for the starch, we will see here, there will be no starch, but here, there will be starch. That means here, the photosynthesis, it stopped, but here, it happened, it, it continues happening. Then, the third way, the, the effect of chlorophyll on starch production. Photosynthesis, this process, we said it happened in leaves. Where in leaves exactly, or why in leaves? Because leaves, it has chloroplast, and this chloroplast, it contains chlorophyll stored in it. Now, a variegated leaf, what do you mean by a variegated leaf? This is a leaf that has uh, two colors, okay, two or more uh, colors. Now. Why this leaf is green? Because it has uh, chlorophyll in it. But why this edge of it, it's yellow or it's another color? Because there is no uh, chlorophyll in it. Now, a discharged plant with variegated leaves is left in a sunny place for a few hours. Okay, the leaves are then tested for starch. If they, if they will put this leaf in front of sun, so what will happen? There is sun, there is carbon dioxide, there is water, so the plant will go through photosynthesis. But after a couple of hours, if we will test for the starch, we will see the starch, we can find it only in the green part. Why? Because there is chlorophyll here. But this, the edge of it, there will be no, uh, there will be no starch. Why? Because here there was no uh, chlorophyll. If there is no chlorophyll, that means the plant will not be able to capture sunlight, and then there will be no photosynthesis. Check your understanding. In figure 1.3, this figure, which plant produces starch, A or B? What do you think, A or B? Stop the video, write your answer, and then check it. The answer will be in B. B plant, the plant B, will make uh, starch. Why? You will say because here, sodium hydrogen carbonate, it gives carbon dioxide. Because there is carbon dioxide, there is water and 
uh, there is slide it's passing through the plastic bag so now the plant it can go through photosynthesis and if there is photosynthesis it means that there will be starch question number seven a in figure 1.4 which leaf does not produce starch which leaf will not produce starch the answer will be leaf number one explain your answer explanation is leaf one it's covered with aluminium foil aluminium foil will not let the light to pass through it so the leaf it will not get light because there is no light so there will be no photosynthesis on figure 1.5 Shade in the parts of the variegated leaf that turned black in the starch test. Which part will turn dark or black? We said the part that contains starch will turn into dark or black. So which part of it will turn into dark? The green one. Why the green one? because there is uh, chlorophyll in it and because of the there is chlorophyll so the process of photosynthesis it can take place and at the end it will produce starch the production of oxygen production of oxygen also it's another uh, way to investigate the uh, photosynthesis in plant how we can investigate photosynthesis depending on oxygen if you look at this sphere here what do we have we have a beaker and sea plant funnel uh, water okay now they put two these two plants one in front of sunlight and the second one in a dark place they kept these two, uh, these two samples in different places, as we said, for a week. Then, what happened? They uh, observed them after one week, and they saw these differences. The plant that is placed in sunlight, it's what? It's making bubbles, while the other one there wasn't any bubbles as you can see here after like one week or after a couple of days this much gas was collected but here there isn't any gas explanation for this it's what here the plant that uh, was placed in front of sun there is everything that is needed for photosynthesis there is sunlight, there is water, there is carbon dioxide. Now, what happened? This plant, it goes through photosynthesis and it releases oxygen gas, gas, oxygen gas. While here, there is water, there is carbon dioxide, but there is no light. So no light, that's mean this plant, it cannot go through uh, a photosynthesis. When there will be no photosynthesis, that's mean it will not produce gas. That's why there isn't any gas here. So this is the way to investigate the photosynthesis depending on the uh, production of oxygen. Now, the most important part of photosynthesis, which is the equation. This equation, you must memorize it. The equation is what? We said all plants to go through photosynthesis, it needs what? First, it needs water. Okay. Then, what else? It needs carbon dioxide. When water, carbon dioxide together by the help of light, the process of photosynthesis, it will take place. When it will take place, it will produce what? It will produce carbohydrate and 
oxygen okay now this it's it's a must you should memorize it now if you will memorize it and you will be a if you are able to answer these questions that's mean you got everything what are these questions water how did it get to the leaf how leaves it will get water so here uh, the answer of this it depends on the last uh, lesson when we talked about roots we said roots it absorb water this water will be uh, transported through uh, stem and then from stem to the leaves then carbon dioxide how did it get in the leaf how carbon dioxide will get in the leaf we say it by the tiny openings uh, on the leaf which are stomata or through stomata now what is the be what is the test to show what uh, that it that it is needed how you how you can know or how you can test that uh, carbon dioxide it's needed for the process of photosynthesis the answer you will go back to this experiment then light what is the test to show that it is needed how you can test that uh, light it's needed for the process of photosynthesis you will go to the test of aluminium foil and plastic cover this one chlorophyll what is the test to show that it is needed how you can test that chlorophyll it's needed for the process of uh, photosynthesis the answer it will be this leaf carbohydrate what substance is stored and what substance is made okay which substance it will make in photosynthesis will make glucose sugar then Carbohydrate, how it will be stored in the plant? We say it will be stored as starch. Last thing, oxygen. What is the test to show that it is produced? How you can test that oxygen will be produced during photosynthesis? We will, as we explained here, you will explain this experiment. Check your understanding. On a sheet of paper, make a large copy of figure 1.7, this figure, okay? And complete the answers to each of the questions. We just explained and answered these questions. Spotlight on the test. Complete the word equation for photosynthesis. As I mentioned, I said, the, the equation of photosynthesis it's very important it's like every year there will be a question about uh, equation of photo, photosynthesis now how to complete this uh, equation carbon dioxide plus what plus light energy equals to what and oxygen we said carbon dioxide it needs a plus what plus water so here there will be water okay with the help of flight energy it will produce what it will produce a uh, carbohydrate or you can say it will produce uh, sugar sugar plus oxygen plant reproduction plant reproduction here we will study how plant it reproduce how plants reproduce and uh, by what uh, will reproduce the flowers of a plant contain the organs of reproduction plants they have flowers each flower it has the organs that are required for reproduction so this drawing or this the, this figure it shows a typical uh, flower, typical flower with 
all the organs that are required for plant reproduction. Firstly, you need to know all, uh, you need to know the names of all these organs or these parts. Firstly, we have the main reproductive organs and we have another organs, we call them accessories. It's like uh, it will not be involved in the process of reproduction. It will be just like a secondary part. It will help the process of reproduction. Now, the two main parts are the male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ. If we will come to the male reproductive organ, this part, this part we call it anther. This part, the second one, we call it filament. So, the male reproductive organ, it consists of two parts. The upper one, we call it anther, and the second part, we, second part, we call it filament. Now, the female reproductive organ. Female reproductive organ, it consists of these parts. The upper part, the upper part, we call it stigma. The second part, we call it style. And the lower part and the third part, we call it ovary. So these are the three parts of female reproductive organ. Stigma, the upper one. Style, the second one or the middle one. And the lower man, the lower one, it's ovary. And as you can see, we uh, labeled these parts, but we still we have one, two, three parts. The one that we labeled them, these are the main parts, the parts that will be involved in the process of reproduction. The parts that we will label them now. These are the accessory parts. These parts, it will just help the process of uh, reproduction. Now, if you will look at this part, this, the leaves, okay? Or the colored leaves. Usually here, this colored leaves, it has uh, different colors. It depends on the kind of plant. So this one, the first one, we call them Petal or petals. Petal, it's the colored leaf of flower. Then the lower leaf or the green one, we call it sepal. So the colored one, or sorry, the green one, we call it sepal. And the last part, the lower one, this is like, they call the stalk or it's like a stem, or it has another name, we call it uh, pedestal. P-E-D-I-C-E-L, pedestal. You don't need to focus on this one. You need to focus on the male reproductive organs, this one, the anther and filament, and the female reproductive organ, the stigma, style, and ovary. These are the main parts. Then the secondary parts, petal and sepal. That's it. Then the process of reproduction, it goes through many stages, many steps. These steps are, firstly, the first step we call it pollination. Pollination, what do you mean by pollination? is transferring of pollen from anther to the stigma. If we want to uh, explain it here, pollination inside the anther here, this anther, okay, 
inside it uh, answer it contains pollen so what will happen transferring of pollen from anther to the stigma okay from here to the stigma this process we call it pollination so pollination is the transfer of pollen from anther to the stigma after that what will happen when the pollen will land on the stigma a small tube will start growing from the pollen this tube it grows through stigma it goes through style and then it will reach the uh, ovary okay after pollination a pollen tube grows from stigma down the style and uh, into the ovary now next step what will happen after pollination and after uh, forming the uh, pollen tube the next step we call it fertilization fertilization what's fertilization inside the ovary here there is another part we call it ovule sorry we call it ovule ovule it has the female gamete in it pollen it has the male gamete in it now what will happen the male gamete will fuse with the female gamete so the male gamete travels down the pollen tube to the female gamete in the in an ovule fertilization it occurs when the male gamete and female gamete fuse so if you want to give a definition for fertilization you will say when the male gamete fuse with the female gamete this is the fertilization this is the process of fertilization now after the process fertilization will finish will take place what are the changes that will happen or what will happen after that the ovule forms a seed the ovary becomes a fruit if you will uh, all the fertilization it happened here in this part okay now what are the changes that will happen the whole ovary will turn to be fruit and the ovule it will turn to be seed if you want to uh, understand this one just imagine for example when you have let's say uh, apple okay let's say this it's an apple inside apple you have what seed or seeds so this fruit or the apple it was what it was ovary okay then these seeds they were seeds they were what they were the ovule okay ovary becomes fruit ovule becomes seed now after that what will happen dispersal of fruit dispersal of fruit or dispersal of uh, exactly seeds of the fruit okay when you eat fruit usually what you will do to the uh, seeds you will throw them when you will throw them here what's happening what's happening the seeds are spreading out they are dispersal okay dispersing so uh, plants have ways to disperse fruits uh, to spread out of the seeds there are many ways to uh, disperse the uh, seeds it could be by wind by water by human uh, by some uh, animals okay it depends on the kind of the seed because as you know we have different uh, types of seeds uh, seeds it comes with different shapes sizes okay check your 
understanding label figure 1.8 on page 6 okay I lab I labeled it this one so your task now it will be to complete the other questions complete the check check your understanding these questions and also uh, complete the spotlight on the test so this was everything about the second lesson of uh, from revision guide uh, I hope everything was clear please uh, if you have any questions concerns again please uh, don't stay to text me uh, and when you all finish watching this video please write your name uh, write a comment many please many students of grade 9 they are not writing any comments uh, please all of you it's a must all of you you should write your a comment uh, just write uh, your name or to make sure you received the video and everything was clear about it thank you and have a good day